Hey, happy summer. It's Brian from Citrus Church, and I'm coming to you this week from the Winter Garden Honey Farm. Have you been here yet? It's a self-service place for local honey with all types of varieties. And I'm here because I asked you to choose this week's lemonade recipe, and hands down, it was fresh honey lemonade. The honey acts as like a natural sweetener, and you get this uh, subtle hint of honey. So I thought for this week's devotion, we would see what the Bible says about honey. John wore clothes made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. That's gross. Let's keep reading. He announced, one stronger than I is coming after me. I'm not even worthy to bend over and loosen the strap on his sandals. He was talking about Jesus, and John is this wild hair preacher who lives in the backwoods, but God was using him to launch a revival and get people ready for Jesus' work. Honey was a sign of God's promise to send a Savior. And you know, come to think of it, honey is often mentioned in the Old Testament. God would remind his people that his plan was to bring them to a land that was filled with milk and honey. It meant a land of abundance and good things. So honey is just one thing that God has used through history to remind his people and us of his promises. A promise to give us a full and meaningful life. And the task of helping to make this world look more like heaven. That's pretty sweet. Make sure to like us on Facebook at Citrus Church and to follow us on Instagram to see these videos each week. And I hope you hive a great summer. No? Well, I thought it was funny. <laughs>